Hello everybody, back here. I'm gonna play some more MOBA, lose another game, and continue on. So, alright, let me make sure the volume stuff's alright. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The freak? I think my headset's died. Darn it. Great start, huh? Fabulous. Magnificent start to a video with the headsets pooping out on Tid Rock money. How dare they? How freaking dare they? Alright, let's go. Let's play with a little Matt Kane. Go back to the Matt Kane. The last game was bullcrap that I lost with him. I lost in the ninth inning. This game never gives me a break, ever. Freaking ever. Uh, we got two guys. Half. Eh. Uh, I gotta get some better backups. Backups suck. I'll put Micah Bills in, I guess, for Eric Ibar. Alright, let's go. Look at that. Matt Kane's 4 and 1, and guess what the loss came from? Me! <clears throat> oh boy hopefully this game goes well I seriously hope it does I'm tired of losing I got pitch better too I haven't pitched very good either Might as well just pitch fastballs during this thing. Get it over a little quicker, this training session. Warm up session, I mean. Alright, we're good. Sebastian Marquez makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, EK, they come off another loss last time Darn out. It, and in fact, the they freak. dropped three of their last four. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often their guys were falling behind uh -huh. there and throw fastballs on 2-0 and oh or 3-1. and one. That'll catch up with you after a while. And this will miss you as well. So he's in danger jerk of losing off. Take the it off your back tonight. It's three and one ah. now. And even just four pitches in, you need to find a strike here because you don't want to give him a free base runner to start the night. Three and two. Here it is. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. The next three two. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. Who that was a close one. Back and he reaches up to I need to stop falling behind man. Number one, Yunel Escobar will stand in now following that seven pitch at bat to begin the ball game. If he was smart, he would have gotten a pretty good. Oh come on, man! I want him in the freaking strike zone. The one zero -oh pitch. And the one zero -oh is sent oh, out to straightaway better. center field. There to take it in his McCutcheon now for wrap number two. That right, great. Bryce Harper will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the now, top. Can of I get first. this right on the corner, please? And this will be fouled away. Decent, I guess. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Here it comes. Grounded foul. Kane now the 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him Darn with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe... And sorry there we go. But the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. So Kane gets him 1-2-3 in the opening half inning. 
Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. D. Gordon at the plate now as he looks at strike There's one. There's a pitcher on okay, face. I didn't look. Visitors as they enter play here this evening. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, when you look back to that last game, oh, come on. like that anytime you can get it, it makes a starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. So the base is empty here with one away and standing in is the shortstop, Mike Avilos. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. One thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, the better off he's going to be. Now the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0-2. Oh it's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off to two balls and two strikes now. 2-2. Two, two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, it looked like he had things in control to start him out. And now he's running from 0-2 oh to 3-2. And, and that last one oh. wasn't even close. And there to take this one is Hunter. That was and crap. that's out number <laughs> two. Andrew McCutcheon will get his first opportunity here. And he enters play third in the American League batting race. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ah. ground. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. And he looks at a ball, one and two. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And <laughs> so put the guy on the mound. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. And a swing oh, pass is all he could darn do it. reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Adam LaRoche will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. First pitch coming. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And the throw takes Whoa. up the ladder, but he's what able to go up and grab it for the first out. Corey Hunter will get his first opportunity now. Now here's the first pitch. Now a slider from Kane. It gets him ahead. No balls and a strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back nice. right away. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. And Torrey able to lay off that one. It's one and two. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. But take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Now another one, two. And a bouncing ball, foul. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's another one, two. And that's oh time man! Ball. It's two and two, and this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you've still got to make one more good pitch to get uh, Now a fastball. Look out! As he has to duck out of harm's way there. Here's the full count offering. Oh, and you can tell he wants to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. A.J. Pierzynski will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Here's the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those. And we'll have nice. to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. 
hammered the other way to deep right field. There we go. Out of here. A leadoff round tripper to get things started here in the bottom of the second. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here comes the one oh. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated uh -huh. either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. And this pitch is uh -huh. off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2-2 two and two now. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Waiting his turn on deck, Ioannis Cespedes. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Oh, there's you Escobar from a knee. He gets him. What a play. Ioannis Cespedes will dig in with one in and one away. Now here's the first pitch. Now here's a swing Darn it. and another chance out there at second. And the throw to LaRoche is in time, two gone. Manny Machado will stand in here, and like so many others, hitless in the shutout last night. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now here's the pitch. Slider, God and that's dang in it. there for strike two. And this has been a pretty good comeback from that leadoff home run. Two straight outs now, and two strikes here as well. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center. Ugh. And Weeders will put this one away, and that ends the inning. Matt Weeders will stand in now to lead things off. 7-8-9 and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. No, First two pitches ball. off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really... Oh, come on. That was, should have been way in. 3-0 in is on the way. That one's in there. 3-1. and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Fouled straight back. Full count pitch on its way. And he lays oh, off there. Ball oh, four. Come so the leadoff on. man is on here to begin inning number three. Mike Mustakis will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. He's set. Now the pitch. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. Six, three, and they turn the double play. Woo. Jordy Mercer will stand in here, hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul, strike one. Pitch on the way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here it comes. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Here comes a 1-2. Lays off the 1-2 changeup, and he's worked it back to 2-2. Two two. Now here's the pitch. And this is swung on, and it'll be another chance out there at second. Off back. Nice. Oh, gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. James Loney will be our leadoff man when we come back. Leading off for the Yankees. And there you see James Loney now. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone, all that can do is tie you up. Fastball called strike, one and two. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. 
And Escobar's throw will take care of him for the first down. One out here in the Yankees' third inning. And that'll bring in Jared Salto Lamacchia. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. And this is hit well towards the hole. There you go. And in the left field for a one out hit. D. Gordon will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Here's the first offering. Fouled back. He's ready. Now the pitch. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. Now the 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. And the catch made here by Weeters, and that's out number two. Yeah, home run hitter. Hopefully you have one. Now I do not. <laughs> Mike Avilas will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on the way. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. A runner on first with two away. The 1-0. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, and darn it. He'll just slap the tag on the runner between second and third to end Darn the it. That, I don't know how to get Sebastian one guy to run Marquette. and the other guy to stay. Stand in now to get us Frickin going here in the fourth. Sebastian Marquez. First pitch coming. Right back at it now is Kane as he gets ahead of his leadoff man here. Nothing in one. And the pitch. This is foul right side. Here's Kane now, the 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Yunel Escobar will try it again. He flew out his first time. Yunel Escobar. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Here's the pitch. Two oh, no come now. on. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Gets the call on the changeup there. Two and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, tend to get hurt. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Bryce Harper will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. And now pitch on the way. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit and it's one and one. Now the pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. <sighs> Fallen behind now, three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Bases are empty here with two men out. The three-two pitch. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. A stab, and he's got it. Nice. Juan Deloney will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. A good inning there for Matt Kane. Still working on a 1-0 lead. First pitch coming. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Now here's the pitch. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Darn it. Under it is Hunter, and he's got it one away. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Oh. And there to take this one is Hunter. Dang it. And that's out number two. Matt Adams will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Uh, I don't think he's going to get there. Darn it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Adam LaRoche will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First baseman, number 25. First pitch to him. Adam LaRoche. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Pitch on the way. Ball two now. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And nice. First, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Corey Hunter will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. Here it comes. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. A.J. Pierzynski will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. The next pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. And the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Kane ready, the 1-2. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third Ooh. straight right here. And the throw short hops Loney at first, but he's able to dig it out, and the inning is over. Yoannis Cespedes will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. There's his total now, just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Well, the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here comes the one-two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here it comes. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Not only do you not want to lose this guy, but you got more trouble right there in the on deck circle. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. And a good throw gets him one gone. Manny Machado will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First offering on the way. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Look into Pierzynski, the one-one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now here's the pitch. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. James Loney will stand in. He grounded out his first time. 
And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. Well, it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Here's the 1-1. This should end the inning as it's sent out uh. to second. Taken there by Escobar. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. Matt Wieters will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Mike Mustakis will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first offering. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Lays off the slider, and it's 1 and 1. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Now, here's a little tapper down that third base line, and this could be a tough play, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Fouled back. Here he comes again, one, two. Now, another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Another one, two delivery. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. He'll try again, one, two. Fastball, strike there the ball go. as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two Ooh. away. Long battle. Jordy Mercer will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Mercer. And a fastball is in there for strike one. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the Whew. throw is in that's time. Close. The strikeout and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Jared Saltalamacchia will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him hit. Sorry, but that ball's well hit into the gap in left center field, and this looks to be good for extra bases. There we go. And he gets in there standing. He's got That's himself in a scoring position at least. D. Gordon will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And here's the first pitch. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. For Salto Lamacchia, he picks up double number two on the year. 1-0 on the way. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. Yeah, Salto Lamacchia is kind of slow. I didn't know if I wanted to risk it. Mike Avilas will dig in now. One for two to this point. He set, now the pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Comes set. Now the pitch. And Avilas will watch this one miss, and it evens the count at one and one. Ready now on one and one. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. And, ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. Now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another 2-2. Two -two. It's a hard hit 
ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And now they've got a man out there with nowhere to go. And the run will score from center. Wow. <laughs> nice. I, I, like I said, I don't know how to run with uh, just one base runner. So I was like pressing L1 and R1. And... I must have confused the pitcher because he didn't know what I was doing. So he'll depart <laughs> after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Neil Ramirez is on and he'll take over on the mound. He waits. Now the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. From the stretch. On the ground to third. And the throw to LaRoche is in time. Two gone. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. The 1-0 home. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. The 1-1. One, one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The right-hander deals on one and two. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Sebastian Marquez will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The pit. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here's Kane now, the 0-2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming from Kane. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that's in there. And there goes the no-hitter. And he is in there. Well, darn it. Yunel Escobar will stand in, and Steve, with the no-hitter gone now, he's got to remind himself he's still got work to do out there. Now he sure does. This game is not over by any means. You've got to take any no-hitter thoughts and put those out of your mind and go back to focusing on the task at hand. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And this is fouled back and out of play. A runner at second, nobody out. The 1-1 on its way to Escobar. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. Bullpen working behind him, but you know this guy does not want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. And a swing here by Escobar, but this is going to find the seats down the left side. A foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. No one out with a runner at second. Here's another 2-2. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. and two. He knows the drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. they not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. The throw to the plate. He Darn it. Score, and the Orioles have cut it down to one. It's now a 2-1 ball game. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one from the belt. Kicks and deals. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Kane ready, the one-two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Again, a one-two. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Adam LaRoche 
will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Swing and a ground ball. Come the ball. on. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Corey Hunter will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. One strike now to Hunter. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Oh, and you know what? That might be the best curveball we've seen all night out of him. And he picked a good time to throw it. A.J. Pierzynski will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Come set, now the pitch. Chopper, foul. Has a look, now the pitch. And he struck there we go. his eighth punch out of the ball game, and Whew. that one ends the inning. Too bad they got that freaking run. Matt Adams will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Designated hitter. Now the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. 1-0. Oh. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1-1. One and, one. and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by, guys, when you need to. Keeping it down here as it's to 1-2. Here's the one, two. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man How will be dare you. to open the frame. How dare well, you, sir? That's the last thing you want to do is put a guy on base right before you've got to face a great slugger at the plate. That ain't going to make things easier. Now the first pitch. Yoenna Cespedes is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Well, now he's got to be saying. This is the wrong time for that strike zone to start shrinking. You need that to be a strike. One and one. One one on the way. Swing oh my God. He the string on him, one and two. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. Swing and a oh, come on. Pass ball right by him for the first down. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And standing in now, the third baseman, Manny Machado. First pitch coming. First oh my pitch. God! First strike. Machado now on 0 and 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Look into Pierzinski, the 1 1. Now a ball hit back up the middle to Escobar for one. Relay to LaRoche is in time, and thanks to the double play ball, the inning is over. Matt Wieters will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught on yet. It's a pretty standard operating procedure, too. But they just look lost up there. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Mike Moustakis 
will dig in. Took a called third strike his last time. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift. And he's fast approaching it here. And this is knocked down on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Jordy Mercer will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Jordy Mercer. Grounded to third. Throw on to the first baseman, Loney, and the side is retired. All right, one, one more inning. Three go the Orioles. One more they still freaking inning. Here, two to one. James Loney will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Thinks he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. The 1-0. -oh. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. The 1-1. One -one. Here's one hit hard to the right side and caught out there at second. Well, he got a lot of that ball, but nothing to show for it to start the home eight. Jared Saltalamacchia will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. 2 0 on the way. Hold strike on the change. Two and one. Ready with the 2 1. Off Darn it. Good for strike two. Now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out. What would I throw on a two and two pitch? And this there is we go. Up the middle. And a reach nice. there by Escobar, but it's by him a base hit. D. Gordon will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Change up, called strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. He's ready now. The pitch. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. He's set now. The pitch. A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All Star. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, that's back to back off speed pitches that he wasn't biting on. Don't be surprised if he goes back to something harder here on two and two. Swinging a ball oh. on the ground, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Oh, yes. Throw into third. I hate those delayed actions, man. I pressed L1 like five oh, seconds ago, and then they decide to run. That's freaking crap. And the base running sucks in this. It's always sucked. Mike Avilas will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Come set, now the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set, now the pitch. And he missed with it, it's one and two. Well, you can tell, he thought he had him. I thought he had him too. One, two. Low for a ball. <laughs> Thank you. Two to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. Two two pitch on the way, and that's lifted in the air out toward left. Ah, uh, eight innings have darn it. on now as the inning is over. Sebastian Marquez will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. 
Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And for all the pitches he's thrown, only one walk so far. That's a little bit surprising. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here it comes, 2-1. and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2-2 two and two now. The 2-2 two -two coming. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. All right, I think it's time to put some of all this Chapman in. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And that will be all tonight for our starter, Matt Cain. Aroldis Chapman is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. Pro goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up. And now the possible tying run is in scoring position at second. Bryce Harper will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance of redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for it. that with a base hit right here. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh, now, come on! Time that had a bit too much to it as it just about got him. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, you shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, a big deal. Get the next guy. Look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. Now here's the first pitch. Adam LaRoche is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And they can't get LaRoche to change. Dude, why can't I hit any of the spots? What the freak? Three straight pitches all over a hundred miles an hour. Oh, People come on. Right that guy's got no chance. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The next 3 2. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be wow. forced to hold Wow, are you serious? With only one away. Here's the first offering. Corey Hunter comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. It's going to take a lot of guile to work out of this one in the dirt and block behind the plate. Dude, why is Chapman's freaking pitches freaking off? Come on! Chapman has like no freaking control. Look at this! Dude, he has no control over his pitches. Oh, what is this? Come on! Chapman has no control. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is swung Wow. I can't the believe I actually there. got him. The bases will stay loaded with two away now. A.J. Pierzynski will get his shot now with a golden opportunity to tie this game and perhaps even take the lead. And boy, a high strike call there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Oh my Break god. Out. So a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base, and the ball game is over. Well, you know, this was one of the more exciting games we've seen in a while. They load the bases here in the ninth, but in the end, uh. they wind up stranding the tying run at third and the go ahead run at second. I almost got screwed. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one. Chat and couldn't get in the freaking zone.
And guys, we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here, Matt Kane. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. He was hitting his spots all game long. Our final line score.